Hello, my name is Dr. Matthew Bramlett, and I'm a pediatric cardiologist here at the University of Illinois. And what we have here is our virtual reality education tool titled Induvo. And what you see in front of you is a virtual OR, but we have many different options. And on the screen over here is our sort of board of different experiences we've built into VR. Now, what we, what we sought to do was to really capture the moment when we're, the surgeon's interacting with complex three-dimensional objects to really capture that aha moment and create educational moments. And really what we've created is an educational tool. But at the core of why we built this was to enable the surgeon and uh, the learner and just members of the treating team to have these moments of uh, discussion around surgical planning and education. It's really, it's really about taking existing medical images and allowing the users just to interact with them in different ways so that they can go back to those images with improved understanding for the true surgical planning. And so what we have here is an example of a patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We have the, you can see how I have the uh, model overlaid here. Uh, with a, one of the MRI images. You can see the images there. And in this model, we have the region of uh, hypertrophy highlighted, and I can go in and even sort of show that you can see the, the segment that needs to be uh, excised for the, uh, to relieve the obstruction in this model. But it's, it's really having the capability to let, allow the surgeon to get in. And in this case, they're going to want to stand on this side and look down through the aortic valve to see the region of obstruction to plan and understand better where that uh, hypertrophy can be so that they can go back into the medical images and understand and fully be prepared prior to surgery. And, and really allows them to educate the members of the team. Not only do we have... Uh, this, but we have, uh, we are using this for patient plan, patient education. For example, I have a case right here, which is a, you can see the anatomy here, and I'm going to go ahead and press play so you can actually hear and see the, uh, here's the clinical vignette that we've, uh, or actually we've got patient education, peer-to-peer, I'm going to play the patient education piece just so you can get a sense of what is uh, occurring. So you're going to see some uh, glasses and controllers that it's me discussing uh, one of our cases. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Matthew Bramlett. I'm one of the pediatric cardiologists here at the Children's Hospital of Illinois, and I uh, run the congenital cardiac MRI program. And what I'd like to run through are some of the findings we had from this most recent MRI on uh, this case with uh, aortic valve replacement. And so I, what I'm proceeding to do here is to use these tools to communicate what, you know, what are the findings? Why did we do this? Which then become educational uh, experiences that the patients can really move through to understand better. Additionally, I, we... Because it is a communication education tool, we have the capability of moving straight on in to an educational clinical vignette. For example, right here, I'm going to be talking about the, the critical elements that would be important in medical education around the same case. It's Dr. Matthew Bramlett, and I provide a little clinical vignette here. I'm not, you don't need to go through all of that, but you can see here how I, how we can then, I'm, I'm mapping towards how to understand the different imaging planes. And so I can say, which image demonstrates the trileaflet aortic valve? And it is going to be over here, where I can see the trileaflet aortic valve. I'm going to select the answer. And you can see how I got it right. However, if I'd selected the wrong answer, it would have told me. Really, this, this one tool allows communication to occur around just any number of cases where you don't have to be a coder or expense have large budgets in order to make this happen in your own institution. So thank you very much.